it was messy. None of us knew anything about documentaries. We, you know, tried to watch a few examples before we started. We had some experts come in and try and explain some of that process, but I think because none of us had ever done it before, and we were learning along with the kids, we saw it in a much more reflective way. We could actually really figure out the process at the same time they were, and I think that was more valuable. The celebration. Ultimately, at the end, uh, our little fourth graders creating these cool documentary films and I'm showing them off to the parents and everyone and I thought that's something that's never been done before as far as I knew. I thought that'd be a pretty uh, epic, epic product for them to come up with. You'd be surprised at what your kids are capable of. That they will, they'll, 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 they'll go above and beyond. That's what happened with me and I felt with the, other, uh, with the other team members as well. That was really critical, I think, not being afraid to do it and just jumping in, because I think, like Dave said, the kids can do this and we don't have to worry about it being perfect. It's more about the, the process. The kids would be more capable than what you would expect of them, which is really neat. The tech part wasn't the hard part. It was the teamwork and the working together and the decision making and who's doing what. <laughs> I wish we would have, when we were children, had a chance to learn like they do. And I hope the years, the next school year, they're doing similar projects, and I hope it's just the start of, of the way of learning. The literacy that we chose was right. Having the descriptive, narrative, nonfiction piece within that documentary is really something that we need to keep. They were telling the story, but they also had to have information woven into um, the documentary at the same time. You know, we had to first expose them um, to just nonfiction itself as you know the kind of the, the front runner to getting into expository and then narrative and the difference and when to use the narrative voice and when then you kind of go back to the matter of fact expository text. Chinatown is filled with people from all around the world. Pho is very common and it has been in Vietnam for about a hundred years. Floating markets are an important part of the culture.